I don't think I got anything from the island for any of my classes. I got a beat, uh, like something for bringing back a trophy, but that could kind of happen anywhere. Me and Alana, like, we've really got, we've got our exams left to do, and we've got people who pop the martial arts club. Yeah, that's all I have left. Period. Some people have more proactive classes. Some people just have classes where it's like, oh, I'm just gonna kind of have to sit here and do stuff over time. Yeah, I've got two exams left to do. And martial arts club. I don't know about you, bro. One exam or we got two exams? Oh, we both have two exams. So I think we just do all our exams together. Well, I've got one for the natural world, one for martial art, martial studies. Yeah, we have the battle royale for both of us, and I have one for magical theory. So we both got a set, a set an exam. Yes. We've got set two exams. We both got then to beat a bunch of people up. Twice. Um. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> And any more questions? Do you need any help with any of that? I don't welcome know. to ignore that. Uh, I mean, I I want to go see friend's sister, but don't know where she is or what she looks like or what her name is. So, not sure how how to find her. Also, not sure cool. what not to talk about. Cool. I'm gonna go work on that gel. Just if if mm. you see what gel? Gel I was making you. Oh, uh, about that, Aaron. The material that it's going to... I don't need it anymore. Yeah. Uh, Candle picked up a new trick. Actually, it'd be easier to show you. Come with me. Well, just if you before you go, if you see any little doll people uh, with lots of jewelry and stuff, just send them my way. Get it. Do. Aaron what? follows Ash. Oh, yeah, Ash, uh, you've been in Ash's room before. Nothing looks surprising, but Ash just kind of opens one of their drawers, pulls out a little looks like a. Garnet and gold ring that they got from Anna Kapoor. Uh, puts it on, holds it out over the um, the brazier where Candle is. And she kind of says um, something in a language you don't understand because Aaron doesn't speak Ignan, as I remember correctly. And um, you see Candle basically just pop up out of the brazier. And into the ring, which starts glowing. Right. There we go. Okay. Um. <sighs> you gonna pay me for the ingredients? How much did you buy? 31 gold worth. Alright. And she's got a rifle through a drawer, goes, oh, wait, no, not here. And then rifles through another drawer and hands you 31 gold after a bit of counting. Thank you. Here, uh, I don't know if you can use this stuff for rune crafting and stuff like that. It's mostly mercury and uh, other sort of magical, magically absorption crystals and some asbestos and some other materials. Uh, yeah. Here. I mean, why don't you hold on to that stuff? Because it sounds like some of your sounds like you could probably use it for your sciences or whatever. True. That I don't know what half of those are. Okay, cool. Um. Well, I'm glad for your candle. That's cool, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, does it do anything other than let him ride around? Uh, yeah, I can, I think I can tap into some of Candle's power. Cool. Combining it with some of my own and, uh, do some cool fire stuff. I need to study this experiment a bit, figure out what I can and can't do. All this is right. all very new to me. Cool. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna let you do that. I that's a lot of things that I don't quite understand. Um yeah, have fun. Aaron's gonna go back downstairs. Uh Ash is on the ground floor. <laughs> oh right. Six and right. floor. 
ah, gee, what do I work on now, then? I mean, I did suggest something earlier. I don't want to spend the money on that. I mean, I can spend the money on that. Like, what, 400 gold? That's about eight of the special coins with chain. Wait, you still have eight of those? Uh, yeah, he lost and didn't have to get rid of them all. Yeah. Um, I, I started with like 30 or something. I was like one behind Aaron. Mm -hmm. Good lord. I think I I've only 12. got like... I have three. I haven't used mine, to be fair, ever since the first initial, hey, let's go collect coins. You've chucked quite a lot of them at the Gatchapon. Yeah, I have. have Though, to, to be fair, I got fucking some kick-ass boots and awesome IPs out of it. D to double check, but I think I've got quite a lot of them. Yeah, I've still got 23 of them. But, in seriousness, if you've got time and don't know what else to work on, I'm more than happy to pay for that, otherwise we can deal with it on an another day. It's not something I'm absolutely vital wanting this second. Okay. Well, actually, Ash, there's one thing. Hmm? the expertise of a, someone who's spectacularly good at planar studies. I need to do a little bit of research in that regard. How so? Uh, I'm working on teleportation. Right. Because sideline, Erin gave a uh, thing with Bobbit. I had her name in my head right that second and it's gone. Uh, you gave Levium your yeah. haphazard teleportation notes. Something she'd actually want to talk to you about. Oh, hey, Lee. Hi. <laughs> Boom. Well, I exist now. But no, she'll probably come knocking, seeing that, you know, you're in Ash's, probably in Ash's doorway or whatever, and say, uh, Aaron, thank you very much for these. Uh, she'll hand you back the notes. Thank you. I Did you call. find any use out of it? Uh, not quite yet. I've only really had a day, but I think I. Uh, but you need to tell me precisely what you want from this, but I think this may also be useful for something I've been wanting to do. Hey, I don't want anything from it. I just want to know more information about teleportation in general. i working oh. on a different project. I, Yeah, I got a few ideas running through my head that I just need more information about the basics and concepts, because I got the mathematics down, but actually implementing the math into physical design is, you know, a bit of a... Yeah, I can help you with that. That's actually not too far off what I want to do. I think. Uh, what sort of scale are you thinking on? Uh, Aaron holds your hands about the size of a soda can, essentially, but spherical. Uh, as in that's what you're going to be teleporting, or...? That's what I'm teleporting. Okay. I meant as in how far do you want it to go? Ooh, oh, that's a bit of a different story. Um. Yeah. Uh, basically, in... a very good rule for teleportation is the further you want it to go, the more of a pain in the ass it's going to be. I can tell also, you. Also, the more familiar you are with a location, the easier it is. If it's always to the same location, it's easier. Oh, it's the same location. However, I am going to be going about 400 feet, I believe. Is that would be a safe-ish distance? I can pro I can probably go further, but that would be a limitation on my end, not its end. Honestly. Yeah, that's going to need power. Yeah. Um, uh, 400 feet. 400 feet at a fixed location. That not fixed be... location. Not a fixed location. That's why I say 400 feet iffy. Um, it can go much farther. Um, problem being is I'm putting this on a construct and I have to do the active math of the calculations instead of being intrinsic, having it be intrinsically knowledgeable about how to do teleportation like Lillian here. She looks up, oh. I don't teleport. Oh, sorry. What was her name again? Sorry. Lee? Hello, I'm Lee. right here. Right. Yes, hi. That was my dad. Yeah, unlike Lee here, who just knows teleportation by instinct, uh, the robot doesn't. I have to do the hard math. Um, 400 feet is where I feel comfortable I can do it in uh, a few seconds. It might end up a bit, you know, as you say, iffy. I wouldn't be able to say guarantee that would necessarily end up precisely where you want, but 
general area could definitely be done. Yeah, because I'm noticing there's a problem with teleportation over the long range where I'm not basing it on the actual uh, physical distances because uh, I've noticed that teleportation has a problem with, you know, the fact that we're on a giant sphere hurtling through space um, and what? teleportation doesn't care about actual relative distance. It cares about actual distance. So I have to calculate everything based on the rotation of the actual planet we're on and also hurtling through to actual space around the sun. Um, that makes things a lot more complicated because the weave of teleportation is not based on actual material space. It's based on planar space. Okay, I don't know what the hell you're actually talking about, but I can help you with teleportation. Yeah, I honestly, I can do with the math. That's not an issue for me. I just need an example. So you basically just need someone to teleport something for you so you can see how it works? Repeatedly over again so I can actually start seeing where the various traits of the teleportation are oh, and I how mean, you're doing. I can do that fairly easily, I suppose, if you don't set aside time at some point. Yeah, I uh, actually... For me. Ash, this guy goes into their drawer one more time, pulls out the warder's eyepiece. Uh, Aaron, you, can, you normally can't do anything to see magic, right? Correct. Here. Put this on, say, this word here that I've written down for you. It'll allow you to at least see magic. I don't know how much you'll understand it, but maybe if you see it, it'll help a little bit? Um, sure. It doesn't really fit my eye. It's a bit big. Uh, okay. Well, it's yeah. a wondrous item, so it resizes itself. Jeez, that's really strange. Okay. Get yeah, that sounds good. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Asher. Which, well, Aaron and <laughs> Asher apparently, you know, hitting up the teleportation books. Well, let's, let's see, what's Silas doing? If anything. Uh, right now, not much. He's sort of just recuperating from the, the dungeon. What's mon what class does he have Monday? Uh, not anything. It's whatever. It's whatever your, like, two would be. Yeah, at best, he's sort of just practicing magic. Oh, actually, what are your classes? Oh. Da, 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 da. Something might happen at one of them if you have the one that I'm thinking of. Anyway, I'll sort these out at some point. Oh, you do the magical period. Good. But we can cut forward to just where Silas is in class. Is there any per particular group of people that Silas would hang about with? Or would he be more focused on the lesson than anything in it? Over than anything else, he'll generally stick with stick with the lesson. So he won't turn away people who talk to him. Okay, it's probably at the end where someone comes up to you. That's what. Uh, Silas was it? Yes. Hello. Um, she looks about. Uh, did the thing pop up? I can't remember. If it pressed yes, it. it did. Okay. As yes, you see. The scared girl from the island in front of you, who, over time, you've gotten to know her name is Ellen. Ah, uh, yes. Um, Hello, Ellen. There's That's no way Carol. for me to ask this that isn't kind of weird, but... Uh, on Saturday, you were um, having a party, and you... Uh, did you see a dwarf there? Uh, you met him on the island. He's kind of fat, short, Jordan. Hmm... If I remember rightly, I think he was part of the group that kidnapped Princeton. Yep. Yeah, I was wondering that because I don't entirely remember. Yeah, yes, yes, I, I did. Uh, Why do you ask? I, I know something happened there. Uh, did you see where he went? Remind me, because I because Silas would remember. Yeah. Uh, the last Silas remembers seeing Jordan was scuttling away on the, a carp of uh, centipedes into the forest after he got knocked out. He seemed to be in a, in a vast hurry to get somewhere on a carpet of centipedes. Oh. Into the forest for some, for some reason. <sighs> oh, thank you. Um, just wondering, because he never came home Sunday, and mm, he so. also wasn't around today. Uh, if you said he was in a hurry, he's probably just up to something. He's he's a bit of a weirdo. Yes, I... A bit of an odd one. Yeah, um... Right, uh... Thank you, um... 
See you later. Bye. Bye. She kind of just swiftly exits stage left. Interesting. He wasn't unconscious whenever he was scuttled away, right? Oh, he was. Oh, right. I believe Wolf just managed to knock him out. The real right. question is, did uh, he scuttle away, or did someone scuttle him away? Pretty sure he scuttled It's like, pretty certain he had a... Like, he was the one who summoned the centipedes. Or did he? You'd hope so? Yeah, I hope so. It's a bit scary otherwise to just watch someone get carried away by a swarm of centipedes. I mean, yeah. we just assumed it was his own centipedes. Who's to say it actually was? Who's to say we care? I mean, we probably should. We're not, like, We're not we don't evil. exactly want people to, yeah, to die because we knocked them unconscious and what, and let them get carried away by a bunch of centipedes. They were trying to abduct two of our friends. Princeton they weren't trying to kill them, though. Brian. I mean, we don't know that. Uh, yes, we do. Yes, we do, actually. Shush. Not here for disproportionate retribution. Silas especially. Silas might not be. He does not speak for the rest of us. Though that is... Hmm. Disconcerting. Might want to look into that, actually. Okay. Silas goes about his life completely unbothered by it ever again. <laughs> no. <sighs> He's thinking. It's on his mind now, and he's wondering what he might be able to do because, or what the best option to do here is. That's fair. Let's see, how well did I? Did he actually recruit to take with him to the to save Princeton and Brighton? Uh, you took. Let's see. It was Armour, I think. Robert and staff. No, it wasn't staff. There was someone else. Oh, Elazel. Laszlo, that's it, yeah. Cochrane's kind of good in the woods, so he might see if he can commission him to hey, go go back to the woods, go back to that cave, and see if you can follow where that where those centipedes might have dragged him off to, because, yeah. Yes, because centipede tracks several days after it happened are so easy to follow. Whenever it's a carpet of them. It was several days ago. True, it's not going to be the easiest, but it can't have gotten too far, especially since I'm pretty sure there was only non-lethal damage that the dwarf did to him. Yeah. So he would have woken up like, he should have woken up like ten minutes or so. So he can't have gotten far. Yeah, let's let's go see if Ocarina's around. Ocarina's probably one of the easier one of your classmates to find, because he's pretty much lives at the sparring hall. When he isn't at the dorm. Oh, right. Oh, Ocarin, I have questions for you. He looks up from where he's running some form of cat or something. Silas, we don't talk much. No, we do not. Come. Silas will just wave him over. Just a second. Thank you. As he quickly finishes up what he's doing and walks over. Well, what do I owe the pleasure to? I have a request, actually. A bit of a continuation on what happened Saturday night. Oh, yes. You remember the dwarf? Vaguely. Yes. Uh, his name was Yordan, I believe. And how uh, at the end of his, in, at the end of our little kerfuffle, he was carried off by uh, some centipedes. We assumed they were his, correct? Reason to go after them. He shrugs. He was escaping. He was no bother to us anymore. I didn't yes. pay much attention. Yes, well, one of his companions, the Cupstorm, has spoken with me about him not returning. And you'd think he's in trouble? I am, I will admit, I am a bit worried, considering we were, we were very much the cause of that, of his unconsciousness. And so if something may have happened to him in the time that it took for to wake up in the woods. It does not weigh weigh lightly on my conscience, no. And so I would like to ask you if you can go back to that cave and see if you can find where those centipedes took him. 
just stands there for a good couple of seconds. It just gives you, Ocarina just kind of gives you a look up and down, seeming to be to judge, like, you have an angle here, before he goes, okay, I suppose I can do that. Thank you. I greatly appreciate this. If you have need of anything in exchange, I, I will be here, and I'm certain you know of my talents. He just gives a curt nod and says, I will see what I can find out, and if I find out anything, I will let you know. As he will kind of do it. Yep, he disengages from the conversation, heading back to the dorm to grab a few things. Hmm. As Silas delegates a problem, uh, it is sort of his known to do. Not exactly, Mister Mister Search the Woods self. So, well, I'm sure. I'm sure Silas will be fine. A uh, passing question, J Mac, just to because I'm running some math right now. Uh, the things for the teleportation buying thing. Mm-hmm. Did we were running those based on crafting costs or purchase costs? With up like the plus two thousand five hundred. I think it was purchase costs, right? I think it was crafting. It was whatever the standard thing is for whenever, like, on the construct modification page. I don't know if that's. That- uh, uh, that's base cost added. Okay. I think. In which case is that? Because I know that's what I was going off of. Okay, then. You'll find out later how well that search goes, and if you sent the right person. What's Wolf been up to? I mean... Be on sleep. For much, sleep. much longer than usual, given he's normally the early riser. For quite, yeah, for at least the early part of the day, it was just... <sighs> Turns out all you need to do to get Wolf to sleep is burn the majority of his rage pool. Um, I mean, basically, sort of, I mean, basically, I mean, makes sense though. His rage is basically his regeneration as well. So, yeah, when that's out, oh wait, he's now basically mortal again. So, no, at least you know, for eight hours, then he'll be immortal again. That's how it goes. So, m- mortality is equal to sleepiness. Got it. No, it's more like sleeping just re- sleeping restores immortality when it's broken. Get an eight hour window to kill Wolf. But anyway. Uh, after that, though, uh, Wolf is going to be wide awake and uh, feeling yeah, pretty good of himself. You know, nothing aches or anything, but never does for Wolf. He feels good. Um. There's a bunch of leftover dumplings for breakfast. Ooh, neat. Dumpling. Are they good? Yeah, they're not bad. I mean, they're, they're a bit like if it was, it should be all told on. I mean, Wolf doesn't care if they're cold, so. Yeah, yeah, they're fairly good. Not Certainly not like expert chef level, but enjoyable meal level. No the weird, no weird of... or anything. Okay. So the remainder of Wolf's day, though, unless otherwise interrupted, is going to be two parts. Um, Sherry's Cafe re- yo, dude, this is a day that tends to get quite a lot of traffic. Need to be there. And afterwards he'll probably hang out at the sparring hall. Making some money. Give me a second. But he'll do, uh, but he will be doing a, um, yeah, he'll be handling the lunch rush. Okay. Because it's always be, there's always a rush around lunchtime, right? Yeah, typically. Probably people who can't be arsed to cook himself. It's not, yeah, not add well. Am I free to roll my part time job? Yes, and I'm going to send your room you here. Exactly two gods. That's not that's not bad from an afternoon's you know, working at lunch shift. Yeah. I mean considering most people make like what, a couple of gold at most that week. Yeah, two gold from, from one lunch shift. Not too bad. Okay, I'll take that room. Maybe not the most useful thing, but you know what's there. I'll just put that in my weird rumors folder. What was the rumor? And what else is in the folder? Quite a lot, actually. Yeah. Like every time JMAC sends me it, it's just being added to a continually increasing notepad. Now we just have to wait and see if you do anything with it. <laughs> that is a good question. Wolf's horde of rumors. Pretty much. Um, yeah. Wolf's not going to act on it immediately. He's got a lunch chef to do right now. And then once that's done, yeah, he's going to go to the sparring hall, though, and practice. Slash help train anyone who wants to be trained. 
crack some heads, maybe. Accidentally. Never on purpose. <laughs> totally the on ghost purpose. Of, yeah, the ghost of rules, or Elena flies through the air. I mean, that's what I use to intimidate people. Well, the ghost of me works too. Trust me. <laughs> um, yeah. Luckily, Wolf, uh, for when he's doing training, has a alternate weapon. The big freaking padded stick. It's not his massive elemental blast of destruction. No. Aww. It's literally just basically a giant club with covered in padding. Yeah, that's a lot of the um, weaponry offered by the sparring hall. It's either padded weapons or like wooden weapons. Stuff that like it might hurt to get hit, but you're not gonna die from it. From it. Mm. Uh, Wolf occasionally might use a couple of the wooden weapons when he's doing something a bit, you know, less two-handed smash. But Wolf's main style, as you understand, is two-handed smash. He is trained in other weapons, though. You know, it's just... Why use precision when you could just brute force? No, sometimes something needs to hit the smash. You know, it keeps people on their toes, toes on the ground literally vibrates from the hit. In other cases, it keeps people off their toes. <laughs> That's why I use the trip maneuver. Hey, get back here, rookie. Just to delete some <laughs> per no! <code>. No! <laughs> That's clearly my tech opportunity, though. Yeah, people have probably learned in the few weeks that you've been here not to challenge you unless they're serious. <laughs> I do I do like the idea, though, of a rookie approaching him, Wolf doing his feint, and then his feint reply isn't to attack them, it's just to trip them to embarrass them. Because <laughs> I can do a trip as an attack opportunity. I believe that's one of the things you can replace that attack with. Mm -hmm. There's not many you can do that with, but trip is one of them. Which would, that would have been an 18 in that case. So, yeah. Probably in the rough. Yeah. Same these hard. One of the things that's hard to get high. But, you know, Wolf doesn't hold grudges. Not not when he's just training with people. Okay. What's all I know up to? If anything. Want to come get your butt kicked? Uh, I mean, not particularly. Not by Wolf. <laughs> he already tripped me the first time I walked up want, to him. Want to help me kick the butts of a bunch of newbies? Sure. Because I'm not really up to anything anyways. Plus, we've both got a practice for our classes coming up, so... It's true. Teamwork. The genuine... Like, the only factor that makes it an even fate is the fact that Dark Rose crits very consistently. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't have control over my luck. My luck just happens. I suppose there's also a factor that Wolf could outlast, potentially outlast Alana's buffs. Which is kind of terrifying when you consider he can outlast the magical buffs. It's true. How many rounds of rage do I have? It's 18 rounds of rage. That's a lot of help. Yeah, that, unless I roll really high on a lot of my attacks, you probably would outlast my buffs. I mean, I certainly, I certainly outlast any one enchantment of a sword normally. It's normal Omega sword enchants only last one minute. Mm -hmm. It's true. And I don't think Omega has ever said, oh no, my sword has run out of charge in the middle of battle. I've come close once. It's fine, yeah. We yeah, we'll be working together we'll be working together as tutors. You're doing the more finesse based fighters, I'll do the more strength based fighters. And we can make people, sure people. they and we can make sure they all fear us for when the final uh, exam comes around. People progressively getting annoyed that you can't put that they can't put you down. They, they can't hit one of us, they can't put the other one down. <laughs> so I that is completely accurate, Tinder. Meanwhile, so now I kind of like the idea, Rose, of doing teamwork tactics or somehow having like a comp, some like you know, like the stamina maneuvers, but I think it's teamwork based one. I think that would be pretty fitting for them. I have no idea what it would be, but yeah. Alana stands on the end of your hammer and you huck her across the planet. I mean, I already did made present of this by picking up Ash with my hammer. And something oh, like this. Oh, God, now I like the, now I like the idea of doing like is it, is it like hammer throw or shot put, but the kind, of, the kind of spinning around one. Hammer throw. For, to, ha to hammer throw a Lana in a, in a charge at something. Just grabs her by the right, scarf and spins around. Alana, 20 feet of movement, and have Herming an attack? I feel like the only downside with doing that with the scarf tender is like, that's on your neck usually. Alana's got a strong neck. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I do like all this as a maneuver to just chuck Alana at them. We have Alana, of course, having been trained to actually, you know, be chucked. Yeah. Certainly I, something that you could potentially do. Alana, we're beginning training. 
It'd be like throwing a cat at someone. Extremely painful on contact. And it's either that, or we grab Alana by the feet and throw the scarf. <laughs> Wait. Like, Wolf grabs Alana's feet, you spin yeah. Alana, and then yeah. Alana throws the scarf? No, no, in, instead of throwing Alana by the scarf, we're throwing the scarf by Alana. You literally right, grab okay, Alana by right. the, the feet, spin around, and release. Mm. It's the scarf that does all the work anyway. We're slowly just evolving into, what was it, Super, what was that one Super Mario game? Ah, oh, fuck, it's There's been many. Super Mario Super Star. 64, oh. No, yeah, the Superstar one, where you're like... Oh, Super Mario 64, you grab Bowser by the tail. No, I'll find it later. I, I, I actually like the idea in general, though, of us having, like, teamwork maneuvers. That actually sounds quite cool. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I've I've tried to do that in a couple of different campaigns. The problem is it just never ends up working out. I think it could work out better in this campaign because we're not spending feats on it. Yeah. I always find feats are horrendous cost for teamwork feats, especially two characters having to spend it. The only time typically teamwork feats get used is when someone has a class feature involving teamwork feat. Yes. So basically, like Cavaliers and Inquisitors. Yeah. 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 And that class feature is either no one else needs the teamwork feat, or you don't need anyone else to have the teamwork feat. If you give it to other people, or you don't need other people to have it, or you have a cohort that you automatically grant it to, one of the above. Yeah, that's certainly something you could look into doing in, in the future. This would be excellent. I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll, look, I'll look forward to, to Silas and Ippos' future teamwork feat. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, why stop at two people? We could have Ippos electrify the scarf, which then get thrown by Wolf. Yeah, I just, how about, I mean, how about I just throw you with a, sh throw you with a ball of lightning? That works as well. I mean, we could do a triple teamwork feat between Ippos, Ash, and Silas for combining all three types of magic. <laughs> Arcane, yeah, Divine, I mean, and Psychic. This is, like, one of my favorite things about um, Chrono Trigger is just the combined techniques. Is It's always been something I've really enjoyed about that particular game and something I wish was more present in other RPGs. Hmm. More games need dual and triple decks. Yep. I guess that begs the question of our last person for today. What's he plus doing beyond studying about the case style? Uh, I don't know. A lot of his time... Because, you know, he, he's starting to think he's fallen behind certain other people in, in the studies, and how, how much longer do we have until final exam time? Like, a couple months. Like, this is your first, like, thing. You, you yes. have a lot of, like, allowance of time. Yeah. yeah, this is like first semester, basically. Yeah, but he's like, granted, he's basically finished one of his classes. The other one, he's not halfway through, and the other one, he hasn't started yet. So you've hammered to be on that natural world. I mean, you do, you do have three classes, though. Yeah, yeah, but he kind of feels like he needs to, you know, not get in trouble and actually do what he's been told to do. So he's probably just gonna have a study day, spend the day in the library. Fair enough. Which means he would have study spells. Bizarre. Tears to wine. Drunk study. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. Yeah, like for my classes, I, I'm three of them involve creating things, which just that takes time. Yeah, it's just basically, you know, say so you're making something. Yeah, that that's what's slightly worrying me about the magical theory, in that it's creating three different things, and I've not started on any of them. <laughs> Some of them you can probably combine. Not well. Uh, you could argue adapting a spell from another class and designing a spell. You could sort yeah. of argue combining you them. Can, you can design a spell and design a spell foci to go with the spell. Yeah, but it's still going to take time. And he's been spending... He, he's been doing the typical college kid thing of spending most of his time pranking and just doing anything that he shouldn't be doing. I will admit, it's some of the rumours Wolf has picked up is because of Ippos. You get three chances to guess which one. So, which isn't very hard to the think. Rumor, yeah. I'm sure Dark could work out which one was Ippos. It's where the Wolf could. That's true. What was that? 
It's saying, maybe um, he can't work it out. <laughs> saying one of the rumors, rumors you've heard is about Epos. That's just that uh, Tinder's is making the point that even if Dark could tell who uh, is about, maybe Wolf can't. Mm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm staring at my notepad right now, but yeah, I can see that. Also, I just realised one of my, one of the rumours I had earlier, which I completely look, I completely didn't look at. Mm-hmm. Well, at least I, at least I looked at the time. It's like, oh, that's weird, and then forgot about. <laughs> Is it the I one? Yeah, Rumour eleven. Just Madam Moore found a random eyeball lying in the corridor. So that's mm, why I wonder I left what. It. <laughs> yes, I hope. Totally wonder what that could potentially be about. Sweeps a giant flesh slug under a bush. <laughs> I mean, slugs have eyes. I mean, I'm not even thinking behind a bush. I just think I just think it's really ineffectually hiding behind a large cardboard box. <laughs> like we still see most of it. Yeah, but it's just got the box on its head. Kind of situation of I can't see you, you can't see me. Like, there's no hiding at this point. We all know it's there. <laughs> it's just part of school life now. <laughs> Welcome to campus, like more of a giant flesh slugs. Oh, just like the eel, right? Yeah. I mean, they have as much a right to study here as anyone else. What, the eel? Yeah. And the slugs. The eel does have a distinct disadvantage, admittedly. Yeah, and ha- not having hands is an issue. But no, that I- I'm, I'm sure he has lack telekinesis. Of with, <laughs> lack of hands can be dealt with. We can teach it made hand, made hand for that. <laughs> my, my thought is that the lack of communication. Oh, it communicates. It communicates by zapping you. No, no, it communicates. Did you say so? <laughs> it can't communicate with most people, though. Maybe with Ippos it can, and that's good. Good it's has a friend. Yes, it has the it's best It's not good, friends. it's evil. We know that because Alana's scarf hates it. Are we sure? Yeah, but Al- Al- Alana's scarf currently hates Alana, so... Oh, no, it doesn't hate her. It hates her family. There's a difference. <laughs> which, in, which, in fairness, ba- based on James and Alana, um, I totally agree. <laughs> wow. Um, do I have to make a roll on any of the teleportation study things? Not yet. So you guys basically return back to the building, and you see uh, Lil just basically going, oh god, I'm so tired. And Aaron's just basically... Uh, on the ceiling, throwing something into the wall that looks like a big sensor that has a little crystal at the end of it. It says, how many more teleportations can you do? <laughs> and she's basically set up a little study area and has developed a few sensors and stuff to be able to get more uh, information out of the situation. These sensors seem to be made out of uh, brass, but on the very end, there seems to be a slightly dull amethyst. But Another thing you'll notice is that there's an amethyst that uh, Lillian's carrying, and all the amethysts flash in a certain pattern every time Lillian teleports. It seems like a little wave, so it looks like she's detecting something. That's why I get for having multiple characters that begin with an L. Yeah. How could you do this to us? I'm just gonna gonna bring up her card so I can just look at it. That's fair. But yeah. Um, There we go. Got it. The downsides to teleportation is even if you can do it, typically you can't do it that much in a day. You get a few good bursts as your sensors track where Lee goes every time she just hops out of reality for a good hot second. But quite quickly she's kind of at the side going, oh, okay, I'm sorry I can't do that much more today. I got, like, just gotta finish this equation. Okay. As... You'll get a few a few more bursts out of it. Uh, okay. Um, passing question. Okay, if you first get a water, um, maybe juice or something. I don't know. Um, you seem to have a fairly heavy interest in teleportation. Oh, I mean, it's not that weird, is it? She wipes her forehead. Well, even I don't spend all of my time looking at you know constructs. Well, this is more I need. <sighs> I'm interested in the thing you gave me for a specific reason. Yeah, it's not really as it. if I spend all my time on it. It's just something that I immediately know. came I'm up. I'm putting you some pretty bullshit tasks, honestly. I mean, that seemed, a lot of the things I've asked you to do are pretty annoying, and you've been more than happy to deal with me. Um, 
what do you need that teleportation thing for? Air and Romeo Diplomacy. You get a plus one to this. Um, I didn't realize Aaron was actually good at diplomacy. Yeah, she is. She's a manipulative son of a bitch. <laughs> Epos is better. Yes. She's not great, but she can do it. She kind of looks around, making sure nobody else is about for quickly casting a spell. I don't Aaron, you identify all, spells. Aaron, I, don't, I don't. No, no idea. Aaron also notices that she's doing this and bother and takes the moment to take the uh, ion star off. You don't seem to notice anything happen, but Lee starts to talk. You spent time with my uncle, yes, the Golmancy professor. Did he? Uh, did he say anything weird when you were doing stuff? Define weird. We were being chased by the horrible satanic bird at the time. Yeah. Um. Anything about like his history, where he came from, stuff like that. I don't really know how much he talked. No, we were more kind of pressed for time. No, we didn't talk really. Okay. Uh, I'll give you the footnote version, largely because I don't want to say much more. Fair. But we're sort of refugees here. Twinsies. <laughs> uh, where I came from is far away, but is also sort of an active military war ground sort of affair. Please? Um. What, sorry? Twinsies. <laughs> Jeez, okay. That's slightly sad to hear. But, um, yeah. Suffice to say, I didn't really want to come here at first. Please. You can't just keep saying twinsies. It's true. I had to come here and run away from the various thieving merchants and debt collectors after my father died. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, oh, I got it. Go on. Suffice to say, with enough work, uh, you read you kind of got what the the thing you gave me was about, right? Teleportation between places where the fabric of reality is a bit flimsy. Yeah. Uh, my home is one of those places where the fabric of reality is kind of flimsy. And if my I hedge my bets well enough, I work hard enough, I might be able to make something to go back. I might actually be able to meet my family once again. Oh, that makes sense, but to do that, you'd have to build a receiving portal. For that those. part is covered. Is it? Okay. At least for what I have planned, but my plans are <laughs> we're a bit far out right now. Right. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, well, I suppose that's a better excuse than what I was thinking was the reason. Well, for you, what did you think is a glutton for punishment? No, I think we're agoraphobic. Oh, I, didn't I mean, I am that, technically. Okay. Well, I guess I was right. I was thinking you were working on designing this so you could have an easier way of going back into the campus so you didn't have to go outside. Oh, no, I'm, I've kind of already got that done, done, Pat. Oh. This place has just a lot of weird secret tunnels and entrances to places. I can kind of, you know, ignore the outside for a quick moment and get in get to my classes. Yeah, there's a tunnel from the sparring hall to one of the janitor's closets in the main thing, so. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how this place stays structurally stable, considering all the holes that are in it. It's like, yeah, it's like uh, a not Swiss cheese. Doesn't really. It seems to be weird multi-dimensional planar stuff. I don't know how it works. It's a lot of folded space, honestly. Yeah. It's starting to worry about the fact that this place might not be good for your long-term health due to constant exposure to folded space and time. I don't think that's an issue. I, well, I don't think it's something many people think about. Uh, perhaps I should write that as my thesis for my doctorate here. Long Probably not a good way to make a lot of friends if you go, hey, actually living here is bad for your health. Well, I suppose part of the thesis would be how to solve it. If you can. Yeah, fair. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Um, I will give you a bit of a download then. I'm currently working on a teleportation thing that is long range. Technically, the design I am working on technically has as long as range is 
miles and stuff. I'm just incapable of doing those calculations at the moment. Um, so I'm just keeping it within the limited range of 400 feet. Uh, so it is going to be a small little construct that has a teleportation device that will be able to receive and send signals to me where I'll be able to calculate the mathematics for doing the teleportation so I can send the construct to a certain location back to me as it picks something up. It's kind of like a, a spying thievery drone. Oh, right. You did take thievery, or subtlety as it's called. It's one of your oh. classes, didn't you? Well, yeah, the, the, that teacher's going to get fucked on this thing. This would be great. Oh, best of luck, then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Um, I'll help you out if I can. I don't know if there's going to be really much I can do for you, but... Probably not, but I will make say one thing. If you ever come across any magically infused woods when you're doing stuff in the dungeon out and about, uh, bring it to me. It's probably something I can use for it. Oh, right. Okay, sure. Yep, I'm a carpenter. I make, I make wood things. Oh, there were some like, mushroom trees that I saw. Uh, it's not really. Mushrooms are weird. Mushrooms look flesh. Yeah. I'll use my discretion. In worst case, you could probably pawn it off on someone else. Yeah. Get some sleep. I have more tests I need to run tomorrow. Okay, Joy. Yeah, it'll be the last day. I'm almost done here. Press X to doubt. Yeah. Well, to be fair, Aaron turns around and you just see pages of mathematics. Like, she was writing really, really quickly while she was looking at this stuff. And when she turns, you realize why she's a prodigy in mathematics. It's crazy how much she's written down in the complex formulas she's Leeds kind of like looks over and kind of gives a small whistle and go, okay. Um I take back what I said then. Yeah, um, I'll go rest up. Yeah. Good luck with your math. Nerd. Rude. They will return to her room. Yeah, Aaron's an absolute prodigy in mathematics. It's not healthy. Aaron is that physics nerd we all physics nerd we all know in school who we all love and hate. Yeah. Okay. I'll just say, I don't know, I spent the entire day we're studying teleportation because I didn't have to work on that alchemical stuff. I'm just noting them that you've talked to about her thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a terrifying thing. You see the GM taking notes. Mm -hmm. I, <sighs> I take GMAC notes. takes a lot of notes. So you hear me typing all the time. No, I think this is always a really terrifying thing, though, uh, as a player. Whenever the players do something, and you just see the GM in the background, just start to write things down. <laughs> and then I found oh, the explode. I got my cable caught in the chair and straight open the window. That was not good. Wow. Professional. Yeah, you'll, you'll see Matthew Mercer do this quite a lot during the games, where he'll just suddenly start writing things down. The players are all suddenly look nervous. Why is he rolling dice? Why is he? Rolling dice? Why is he... I know my memory's garbage enough that I try and take a general overline of every session. So if someone says something, I can look back and be like, oh yeah, that. The point is, if the GM writes it down, that means the GM thinks whatever just happened is important enough to write down. Sometimes it's great, and sometimes it's like, wait, why is he writing that down? What, what did we do? Sure was nothing. In this case, you know why I'm writing it down. Or do Sight. we? Is it a bluff or a double bluff? Maybe a triple bluff. Like, if this was a video game, you'd get the pop-up at the top of your screen that your journal has updated. <laughs> it's not the pop-up saying your GM will remember this. It's a quadruple reverse bluff. It's so much bluff, he doesn't know what's bluffing anymore. During that experimentation, Aaron had a plus 20 to engineering. Jesus. <laughs> Aaron, come then, please. Nope. Prodigy. Must do math. It's not even the cool thing. It's math. I know. To be fair, it's kind of a bit cooler in the world where magic is a thing. Oh yeah, it's a lot cooler when your math can actually do cool shit. Yeah, exactly. And not be like, oh great, I now have whatever the fuck this is. Time to never use it ever again. Hey, I don't mean to alarm you, but I make cool shit all the time out of math. Okay, yeah, but you're an yeah. actual engineer. Like, sideline, you were the closest thing we have to a real world mate. Mm -hmm. Just make shit happen by doing math. 